All right, so we want to use the concatenate function. Um, it's a really cool function for putting strings of text together from cells. So we want to use the concatenate function to build an email list. Now this email list is cool. You'll be able to copy and paste it straight into Outlook or Gmail or, or whatever it is you're using. And it will email to all of your class or the group of people. So this is a real challenge, particularly, I mean, I know for teachers it is. We, <laughs> it's really hard to get a list of your students' emails. But the bonus is your school will use, or your businesses usually, will use a very strict format when assigning emails. So we get to do this. Um, first off, we want to give it a, um, a column in our, um, in our table, because we're using tables, so it means we can filter stuff and, and all that. And then we get down there, and we're going to use email. That's what we're going to call it. Makes sense. Make everything here. Yeah. Um, nothing worse than when you get a bunch of stuff and it's all document one, document two. Columns are the same thing. Give them a useful name. Now, we go to equals. Concatenate is the formula we use. So concat will do. Um, text. Now, the way this is going to work is it's going to put strings of text in a row. So if you've got a set format like you know, most places do, um, you do it. For us, the format is year a person graduates, um, surname, first initial, and then at the rest of the email. So let's do this. So we go the year that they graduate. So you have to know that. So we're going to say 23, although that could be data you pull out um, from somewhere else. Then, and if that's data you pull out, you just do the next part. So we're going to use another function within this to safeguard our our emails to make sure they work properly so emails can't have spaces all right so if we type in trim this will remove any spaces and for us it's the surname okay brackets then comma so if i was to press enter here it will go 23 surname so we just test it out see and it fills out everything for us but we're not done yet so 23 surname then we go um, open that parentheses a little bit. So our next string is going to be the first initial of their first name. So we type left. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to type trim brackets left brackets. Um, the text we want to come from here. We only want the first name or the first initial. And we put space there. And then back again and we're back in our concatenate again okay so then we now are able to type in our oh, I'm not sure how we got there we're able to type in the last bit which for us would be at student dot school dot edu or whatever your extensions would be um, end with quotation marks and yeah, if I press enter, they're all there. And those emails will all work. So if you yoink, copy it in. Um, this is really useful. Seeing this whole year group here, um, I might only want the kids in science B. So I filter that out. This is the beauty of a table. Makes this really easy to do in Excel. And yeah, you can just copy, paste that straight into Outlook or whatever it is you're using. And away we go. You've now got an email list. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to concatenate all your strings together and have a fun time. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye now.